Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to more Final Fantasy XI action. Last time we had played, we had come across the very structure of Fast Talk. We had come across the societal issues, the racial tensions between the Galka and the Yums. We began to get whiffs, almost, of corruption. To find out more about this, and of the various threats that are levied at the nation that we have pledged allegiance to, Herbal Derp charges forth. And we'll accept another mission. This time, I believe, carrying us deep, deep into the mines. And encountering us some of the Beastmen. The beastmen that you will be facing in this game will vary based on the nation that you start with. Those who start and pledge allegiance to Winders will be mostly terrorized by the Agudo, sort of birdman sort of monster type. Those in Sundoria will be dealing with the orcs. And those from Bastok deal with Quadav. Which are basically turtles. So we're gonna deal with the turtle people. I think. So I think this is the mission where I need the, uh, the parts. So we got a new home point. We're doing good. Hmm. I think it's Argus. Fetishism. The Palboro Mines, once our main source of mineral, have been under beastman control for some time. I want you to hunt these items, the Kodav, uh, the beastman, the Kodav, and bring back a fetish head, fetish torso, a pair of fetish arms, and a pair of fetish legs to prove your accomplishments. Present all four items to me or one of my colleagues in order to complete the mission. Alright. We already farmed one of these. I got the torso from killing them while leveling up. So we only need three items. But to get them, the best place I tell you to go is the Pablo Mines. Way up there in the corner. So to get there, easiest way is just follow the road. Now we're about level 30, so I don't think anything's going to attack us on the way there. I think we've pretty much got a free ride. That being said, we'll take we'll take the long road. I'll run it with you. I didn't spend a lot of my time in this game playing in North Gustaberg. There wasn't really a whole lot that held my attention here. It's a lot like South Gustaberg, just with less interesting notorious monsters. Later on they added a I think it was the Grauberg Abyssia zone. This one. That gave people more of a reason to come. I'm actually going to speed this up just a little bit. Uh, flee. So we get a minute of high speed running. Let's use it. Alright, so once you cross the bridge, you can skirt up through the mountains if you want. I just tend to go this way. Through the mountain. This will take us to the road. That will take us to the bridge. That will take us to the mines. It's amazing we still got like 20 seconds of runtime left, which is crazy. Ah, oh, crap. I'm gonna miss the bridge. Bridge is over here. There we go. Ugh. I always hated that bridge. So it's like so small and hard to like get onto when you're using flea. Which I did every time he came to this mine, because I hate this mine. I really do. Aw, there goes Flea. So it's pretty much a straight line. You, you want to go here, it's just the best place to go to get drop rates for the fetish parts. I'm hoping this video doesn't have a whole lot of drop frames. I'm not really 100% sure 
how well it's recording. It's playing very well, but Lord knows. Emma-Doodle just killed the Valkyrie Emperor. Looking for that Emperor hairpin, or Empress hairpin. I'm not sure which one it is. It's the Rare X one. Because I killed Leap and Lizzie. Twice. And I got the boots. Them bounding boots. Used to be leaping boots, but then people started hoarding them and selling them for obscene amounts of gills, so Square changed it. You can see the quadaver uh, piling up out here. They're turtle people. Really, they're minding their own business right now. I'm kind of the aggressor here. But they're up to no good. We do have to investigate. As the nation mission goes on, you'll see what they're up to. What their motivations are. Right now, they just kind of seem like mindless beast creatures, because that's what they're telling you that they are. And per uh, perhaps to some degree, that's correct. There's a young one, just hanging out here with his sword. Just like, yep. That's my home. Don't go in there. Alright. Didn't try to... Didn't even try to stop me. So basically, Amber Brass, Greater Old Onyx, and Veteran Cardabs can drop uh, fetish pieces. We're a thief, so we should have, like, a little better of a chance. We'll see. But yeah, basically, this is what we want to do. You can also buy them off the auction house, the parts, like, that I'm looking for here. That's totally a thing you can do. Just saying. I'm gonna keep that scroll, I need that. Um, yeah, totally a thing you can do if you want to. I'm not sure why I'm trying to cast poison on it. Oh yeah, the reskin the rabbits, they look like uh, Dragon Quest rabbits for some reason. I'm alright with it. I think they're pretty cool looking. Hey, here. I don't even think you'd have fetish parts on you. No. You'll drop Subligar, though. That's neat. There you go. You sound like a gemstone. Sneak attack. I'd almost killed it in one hit. Almost. Backplate. I guess I could sell that. Alright, let's go up this way. So basically what you want to do is just walk around and kill turtles. That's the mission. I thought he was, like, in the ground. Oh, I've linked the other ones. I should have figured they'd attack. I don't know why I didn't. Ow. I have treasure hunter. You should be dropping me stuff. Ooh, sneak. I could sell that. So that's kind of like the prop to being a thief, is or the pro to being a thief. You get treasure hunters, so you get more drops. More drops means more sales. More sales means more muns. More muns means I can just buy these things and finish the mission. It is the thing that can drop them. Give me the old stabbing in the back. Bap! 90% of its life in one hit. Ash clogs, I don't want those. I guess I can sell them. That is the point to me leveling thief, actually, is just straight up make money. I don't know if these can drop it or not. Yeah, no, it's like more like greater and old. Amber, amethyst. Okie doke. Yeah, like this guy. Oh, I got a weapon skill. Let's use it. And die. Ash clogs. I don't want ash clogs. Now I'm paralyzed. Another attack me in unison. It's almost beautiful. A backplate. 
So remember, like, we also have, like, the server commands, like, exclamation point sell. And we can sell all these drops and make a little extra side kill and buy the pieces that we need. Which is always fine. Because we got a bunch of shell seals that we can sell. But also, this server also has, like, increased enemy spawn rates. So, like, it shouldn't take all that long. Oh, crap. Messed up my sneak attack. I forgot I was paralyzed. So I believe on this server, if you want to buy the fetish pieces, they're about 10k each. I just figured we'd go through the Palbro Mines together. Have some fun. You can see there is a lot of beastmen in here. And rabbits, for some reason. But also beastmen. And ba -ba. None of that. Ooh, a scroll of Protectra. I don't have that spell yet. See, any of these scrolls I don't have to pay for is just great. You guys are being jerks and not dropping me the stuff I need. I don't remember the fetish pieces being this hard to get to drop. I think I'm just having, like, obscenely bad luck. It's alright. Gives us a chance to say hello. Me to say thank you to Gamecatcher, Vaudeville, Mario, Eridus, for being lovely, wonderful patrons. And helping me out along the way. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. And over on Twitch, big thank you to DarkSilver00 for the bits that you've tipped over time. Also appreciate it. I'm starting to wonder if any of these guys drop this stuff. I must wait longer to sneak attack. That's unfortunate. I love sneak attacking. So what do you think of Herbal Derp's new gear? I got him some clothes. Felt bad that he was wearing the same outfit all the time. There's some fetish legs. We found one of the things, so they definitely do drop here. I thought it was here I went to to farm these. Probably should be going lower. There's probably like a better drop rate the lower you go or something. I'm casting water on a turtle because I'm smart. This one's throwing rocks at me. Okay, I've hit it. Good. Hit it again. I got a pair of cuffs. How much inventory do I have left? So we have the torso and the legs. I just need the arms and the head. Oh my god. Hmm. What are you? Young. Don't need you. What are you? Amber. Perfect. And sneak attack go. Oh, instant kill. Alright, cool. If I can instant kill this one. Fast enough to interrupt their spell. That's good enough. Scroll a blind. I already know blind. That means I can sell that. Get shanked. I got a knock doublet. And I interrupted your paralyzed spell. Ah! So yeah, I'd actually recommend you just save your money and just go around here, like, level up to, like, level 30 like I did with the thief. Just walk through here and stab these guys. They're not a threat to you whatsoever. They will eventually drop what you're looking for. Saves you a bunch of money. Just saying. Look, there's another one right there. They've already started respawning. I don't even really need to go anywhere. That's the end of him. That's nonsense. My debuff thing get on me is Dia. You know what Dia does for them? Nothing. Uh, amethyst. 
Sure. I like to keep them all kind of in a straight line so it might auto-target them when one of them dies. Just saves me the trouble. Like this. And shaboom. Alright. Now say if I choose to sell that. Will it show me what the last few went for? Alright, that's 200 gil, is it? If I go to just sell it, sell it, what are you going to give me for it? 61 gil. It's still not even worth my time to bother. What are you? 31. What are you? 61. All right. So literally, this is what I will do. I will find scrolls as they drop, check to see if it's worth it to sell them. That one's not. How about this one? No. Then I just look to see if there's anything else worth selling whatsoever. So far, I don't really see any. Like, the Ash Clogs are, like, 93 bucks. The Bronze Subligar is, like, 200 So I'd honestly just sell these, like, NPC them. That's what we're going to do. Apparently, there was a race today. Neat. They do little side events on the server that are just fun. But they often come with little prizes, so they are worth doing. But they're also, like, just super fun. Because you get to, like, la point and laugh at people. Everybody loves pointing and laugh at people. Come on now. Yeah, let's try and steal from them. See what happens. Oh, you have beast coins. That makes sense. You're a beast man. Starting to wonder if Treasure Hunter actually does anything. It's like the long term Final Fantasy XI debate. I remember this debate going for years about whether or not Treasure Hunter actually had an impact on the game. And. Huh. I don't think I can have two torsos. Hang on. I also wasn't expecting to find a circlet. Uh, let's sell a blind scroll or two since I already have the spell. One of them binds will do just fine. Yeah, I didn't think I could have the torso. What these shell shields? 107 bucks piece, sold. Circlet? 40 bucks, sold. I'm keeping the beetle harness, but these cuffs. These cuffs. Yeah, you may as well just NPC them. I mean, by all means, you want to put stuff on the auction house, go ahead. You will get more money for it. So we're only missing one now? So we've got the head, torso, and leg. We need the hands. Okay. We need hands. We need these hands! We need to get these hands, and we need to find these hands. And we will get these hands. So let's see if this one will drop us some hands. You got hands? No, you got banished spell for me and a little hand. That is an adorable little hammer. Uh, back play protector. Uh, how about you? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Do you got some hands? You got some hands for me? Do you got some hands for me? I got hands for you. Well, they're not really hands, they're sword. There we go. See, turtle down. You know what always really bothered me? You never come across a ninja quad F, so you can never say that you fight ninja turtles in this game. I always thought that should be a BC and M, like just like. One of the notorious monster fights in this game should just be like four quad abs that are ninjas and each one of them is named after a painter. That'd be fantastic. If you're on a private server, there's some free content for you. Do that. It'll make a million dollars, even though you don't make any money. Well, I can hit something from that far away. I'm actually surprised. I'm alright with it. For certain enemies I want to be like a couple yalms away from. Just die. All of you die. Give me the arms or the hands or whatever they're called. Give me them. So 
I will use sneak attack and stab you. Bat! I love sneak attack. Just hit a thing from behind, do obscene amounts of damage, can do it every minute. Not super hard to set up once you get used to it. It's like, oh, okay, so when I start every fight, I should just start with, like, a critical that does obscene damage. It seems like a pretty decent strategy, you know? Give me the hands. Give me these hands. That one might. Once we complete the mission, we get cutscenes and stuff. And more storyline. Remember, we've been hearing about a tail keeper. Some sort of Galka that is legendary somehow. Maybe it's a shiny like a Pokemon. And it's come back from some kind of journey or something. And now all the Galka are gathering to it and being all like, Yeah, tail keeper's back. We're going to do stuff now. And now all the humans are like kind of getting nervous. I don't know. We've kind of taken advantage of these Galka people for a really long time, so they're kind of curious what the Tail Keeper means for them. Miss! Come on, Herbal Derp! There you go, buddy. Oh. Weak, are they? Weird. wonder what they're doing here. Ugh. That's what I say to that. I need more turtle people. But not young turtle people. I need, like, I guess, like, amber ones and amethyst ones and greater ones and... Yeah, like this one. This one will work. This one will work just dandy. Give me the old bat. No spell at him. Finish him off. Ow. Oh, I've got dudes linking on me. Gotcha. I guess I should deal with this. These idiots. All right. Die. Alright, there's two down. Here goes number three. Oh, we got one that we actually want to kill on us now. Good, good, good. Who's casting slow on me? Oh, it was bind. I thought it was slow. And now you will pay the price for crossing me. Get stabbed! Don't mess with a tire with a sword. Come on now. I can barely climb these steps, but I'll cut you to pieces. Look at this guy. Sitting here thinking he's safe. Mm-mm. Think not, sir. You can adjust your footing all you like. Bat! 160 damage. Just because I feel like it. Uh, scroll of bind, circlet, still not what we need. We still need one more piece. I was not expecting this to take this long. I would have farmed all the pieces up beforehand if I knew it would. Oh well. It is always good to get to talk to you guys. Ask you how you're doing. I know I've been focused mostly on Twitch lately, but... Honestly, with YouTube trying to drive me off platform, I kind of had to, so... Gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, you can always check me out at Twitch. Go by Melodotti there as well. Link down below in the description. As always, consider like, commenting, subscribing, notification bell, herbiter, yabba yabba yabba, all that other stuff that they tell you to say for YouTube engagement stuff. Okay, you're dead. Give me, give me things. Come on. Down. Ugh. You really want a piece of me? 
I know I'm a third your size, but I mean, like, I'll, I'll cut you. I'll cut you. Whoa! It's a notorious quad app. Let's see how strong he is. This could be fatal. But I should have the gill by now to just buy the fourth piece, I realize. So let's see what happens if I kill you. Yeah. This might be fatal. No, no, he's not so bad. I'm gonna blind him. So notorious monsters are things that'll say that they're impossible to, their strength is impossible to gauge. They can drop gear and stuff. Sometimes they're there for quests, but they're usually substantially stronger versions of monsters in the area, and they'll have, like, a very different name. Mages will still mess them up on this server, though, so don't worry about them too much. I think that just did 70 to me. 75. Let's throw a water spell at him, see what he does. Alright, he's dead. Here in a sec. Back. Down. He dropped a Q egg. Cool. Those are for various recipes. As far as I understand. I'm not f fully aware of what they do, other than that I know that there are egg letter recipes on this server. Get down, get down. How much money do I have? Okay, I have 10k. I'll just buy the last piece. Just so I don't have to put you guys through any more torture. But if you want to be, like, super cheap and just bring your thief in here, I've just shown you, like, in 20 minutes I got the pieces I needed other than one. Uh, I forget what the thing I'm looking for is even called. Fetish piece or something. Fetish arms! There it is. How much of these? 10k? Someone sold one for 1k. Let's try 1k. Aww. Alright, we'll just pay 10k for it. Cool. And just to get home, we'll do the quick little home thing. I like how every job in this game gets a warp when you play on this server, because I felt it was, I always felt bad that it was like limited to Black Mage. On retail, that was good. It gave like people a reason to bring a Black Mage along, because like it had warp too, could warp people home. Otherwise, Black Mage kind of got the shaft. <laughs> Once Treasures of Odd Erden came out. Before that, Black Mage was a wonderful addition to any party. But after Treasures of Odd Erden came out and enemies could start reflecting spells back at you, Black Mage fell out of favor fast. It sucks, it was a wonderful job. Um, we wanna go to the port. This is where we started our mission, I guess. So we'll go talk to the boy that gave us the quest. And then, there's an optional cutscene that some people don't know about that I'm gonna go show you too. I think it's in the mines though. I'm gonna have to warp to a different zone. But at least our boy's right here. Here, sir. Head, torso, arms, legs, done. Good, you brought all four parts of the doll. I'm raising your rank to two for completing this mission. Congratulations. If you've been to the Palboro Mines, you must now know the serious nature of the threat these beastmen pose to our civilization. As a best talker, you are expected to take on more missions and go on conquest to preserve Bastok's brilliant future. But I cannot give you a new mission at this time. You need to collect rank points for taking on new missions. You can retrieve rank points by participating in conquests and donating the crystals you acquire to guards. Or by undertaking missions you previously completed. Ask the high god near the gate as you wish to hear more about conquests. Rank 2. We did it. I see you're working hard. My voice has changed once again, but my face is still square. Your chief's in. Oh, you don't have to get all formal? Have there been any changes around here? No, sir. There have been an increase in the number of adventurers using the airship as well as an all around increase in exports, but no signs of any disturbances. Truly, Chief C, it's wonderful our innovations have brought wealth and prosperity to the port dead. 
Enough with the flattery. The airship is one invention like many others. See what I'm saying about his mouth? Like, look at that. It is just pure nightmare fuel. All we need to worry about is the unrest in the mines district. I'm concerned the trouble going down there is going to spill into Port Bastog. The escalation and activity around Norg also troubles me. Soon the be airships going to the outlands. Who knows where those adventurers will be up to when that starts. And what about the steam and sheep restaurant? The old place still doing fine? I mean, he's making money, right? There aren't any strange guys hanging around the provider, are there? Sir, I stop in every day after my duties are complete and business seems decent as usual. Good, good. Forget what I said. I wonder what's wrong with Chief Sid. Exo is a murderer and he's killed Exo. Huh. Good job, Axel. Good job. You mean you haven't heard? Sid's got the hearts for the lady at the tavern. Word has it she's a widow. Wow. Maybe Chief Sid's got a soft spot after all. Two of coins cut. What? Seriously? Yeah, I didn't think that could have been accurate. No way. I got a thousand gil. Maybe that's what it means. Oh. I know if you want to increase your rank, you gotta trade these guys' stuff. So we're gonna do that. Here, have some fire crystals, buddy. Sweet. Yeah, they all, I forgot. They also reduce the amount of crystals it takes to increase your rank points. So now we have completed Bastok rank 2. Or we're up to rank 2, I should say. Sorry. So our signet will last a little longer. I think like an extra hour. And as you rank up more and more, the signet will last longer and longer. Plus you'll get access to more and more things and unlock more and more stuff. So that's why we're doing it. Also the story. I'll settle on voices eventually. The first three missions aren't really much to write about. But it starts this. I believe Upper House J7-ish. J8. Something like that. Yeah, it's somewhere right around where we are, but like on the other side of the wall, it's, it's like BS. We'll get us there eventually. Watch us go. I think you just go around the corner. And you want to stay on the upper level. If I'm right. And I think I am. Took the wrong side street, though. I want this one, the one with the bridge. There should be a little dude in here named Gumba. There he is. Hi. You know, we also had a visitor before where I left. It's Solid Snake. I apologize for bothering you again. I wish to speak with you about Zed. Hey, where eh? The Musketeer's back again. Captain Volker. We Galco would also like to know of Zed's whereabouts, but none of us know where he might be. You must understand. I cannot continue to perform my duties with a clear conscience unless I know what became of him. As you know, Zed is the one who should have been leading the Mithril Musketeers, not I. It is your uncle that you think of when you say this. True, many Galka were upset by his appointment as captain after Railgrim disappeared, but... We do not feel the same way about you. As Zed is different from Railgrim, you are very different from your uncle. It is not because of my uncle, sir. 
I'm glad to hear that. I now feel safe in telling you that a Dark Knight was sighted in the Palbro Mines. He was very powerful, I am told. Then it is. That is all I know. So why are there less Dark Knights since Z disappeared? Any idea? Well, Z did, in a sense, create his own version of the art, passed down since the glory days of Altepa. And it is not something one can master with skill alone. It is said that only a few who tame the dark flames that burn within their soul feeding on the sorrow and hatred are chosen. That's one of the last things I remember where I was saying. Say, why don't you find Zed yourself? Maybe he can teach you how to become a Dark Knight too. But Larry once told me that the road to becoming one is not an easy one to take. I also think that might have been the uh, Dark Knight mission start, not actually... Blade of Darkness, yeah, that's more about being a Dark Knight. I want a different cutscene. Where was the oldest Galka here? It's really strong when he was run, you know. He's the one who taught Iron Eater, the only Galka in the Mithra Musketeers, how to fight. So we just start, accidentally started the road to becoming a Dark Knight, I think. So maybe we'll do that next episode. Maybe we'll start and be a Dark Knight. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I think I want to do Run to Juno for the next episode. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, consider supporting me on the Patreon, check out my live streams on Twitch, there's the bell thing, if you want to be notified for all Final Fantasy XI action, and please, if you want to, link in the description below to figure out how to join us on the Realms of Joel private server. Until next time, and our next adventure with Herbal Derp, the super amazing Taru Taru. This is Melodotty saying, bye-bye.